Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel and this is Scott. Today's presentation is entitled Nginx Reverse Proxy Manager Easy in Incas. An Nginx Proxy Manager or NPM for short allows you to expose multiple self-hosted services on the public internet from your home lab. And in the past, I've done a video entitled Nginx Proxy Manager in Incas and also Nginx Proxy Manager and Local DNS. This one's going to be just a little bit different because we're going to talk about implementing NPM inside of a Docker OCI container. So without NPM, you would be able to offer only a single service since you have a single ISP WAN address. So by having um, Nginx Proxy Manager as a reverse proxy manager, you can have many different subdomain services defined at your DNS provider, and Nginx Proxy Manager serves as a traffic cop to route each of those subdomain services down to the appropriate instance inside of your network. So NPM uses free self-signed SSL certificates from Let's Encrypt and they automatically renew. And that's as opposed to having certificates defined on each and every server instance and having to go down and renew them yourselves. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to deploy NPM as a very simple Incas OCI container. Here we are at the command prompt for my Demo2 Incas server. And if you're unfamiliar with Incas, you want to go ahead and watch my video entitled Incas Containers Step-by-Step. -step. So I want to begin today's presentation by doing an Incas network list which will show us all the possible networks on this particular server on which I can communicate. And you'll be familiar with Bridge Zero, which we created in Incas Containers step-by-step, -step, and it is the bridge profile that we created in that same video that communicates over that to create addresses on the main LAN for our containers. And then we have Incas BR0, which is the outbound only bridge for NAT containers, which is created as a part of doing the Incas admin init when we initially set up Incas. Since OCI containers communicate a little bit better with Incas networks rather than using a profile, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new network with the command Incas network create, and I'm calling my network LAN with the type of Mac VLAN and the parent being bridge zero. For the purposes of this video and all the features I'm going to use, we want to make sure that we're running Incas version 6.5, and you can find that out by doing an Incas space version. And here you can see I'm running version 6.5. If you're not running the latest version, you should do an apt update and an apt upgrade to upgrade your version of Incas to version 6.5. Although Incas began to support OCI containers in version 6.3, beginning in version 6.5, we're going to have some features that we're going to use specifically in this video. And if this, this is the first time you've ever created an OCI container in Incas, you're going to want to add the repository for Docker with an Incas remote add Docker and then specifying Docker.io with the protocol equal to OCI. And I've already done that and you can tell whether you have that or not by doing an Incas remote list and you should see the Docker repository listed in this list. As I mentioned in the introduction, we're going to create our NPM container as an OCI Docker container. And because of that, we're going to go ahead and also create volumes to store our persistent data rather than mapping them to folders. So the way that we do that 
is we go ahead and do an Incas storage volume create default for NPM dash data. This is the persistent data for NPM. And then the next volume we want to create is a volume to hold the Let's Encrypt certificates. And we do that with an Incas storage volume create default NPM dash Let's Encrypt. Now we're ready to create our Incas OCI container for NPM. And we do that with the command Incas create docker colon jc21 forward slash nginx dash proxy dash manager colon latest to indicate the latest tag. We're naming the container npm and then we're setting boot.autostart to true, which means that anytime the Incas server starts, the npm container starts. And then we have a new flag that is new to Incas 6.5 and it's boot.auto restart equals to true. And that is the restart flag that we normally have in Docker or Docker Compose, which means that should the application fail, it will automatically restart. And then we have dash dash network equals LAN. And that presents our NPM container in an address on our main LAN. So we go ahead and hit enter and it says it's creating the NPM container, retrieving the image information, unpacking that OCI image. Now that the Incas container has been created for the NPM application, we want to quickly review how we used to do this with Docker Compose and persistent volumes. This is an example of the Docker Compose file that we used to use and it put a persistent folder called dot slash data, meaning a data folder in the current folder directory, and it mapped that inside the container to forward slash data. And then the let's encrypt folder was mapped inside the container to slash Etsy slash let's encrypt. To accomplish the same persistent volume mappings with the OCI containers, we can do an Incas storage volume attach default, meaning the default storage pool, and then npm data, the name of our custom volume, and we're going to attach that to the container npm, and we're going to map that to the folder slash data as we just saw in the Docker Compose file. And likewise, we're going to do the same thing, except to the Let's Encrypt volume that we created, and we're gonna map that to slash Etsy slash Let's Encrypt. With our persistent volume mappings completed, the only thing left to do is to start the container with an Incas start NPM. If you will recall, when we use the Docker Compose file, we used to have to map port numbers. And here we simply map port 80 to port 80 and port 443 to 443, which are the two required ports for web services. And then we mapped port 81 to port 81 for the user interface. Since we don't have to have any port abstraction because the Docker OCI container is on an address on the main LAN, we've done everything that is necessary. Let's find out the address of our NPM container by doing an Incas list. And here we can see the container is offered at 172.16.1.60, which is an address on my main LAN. And so if I go up to my web browser and enter 172.16.1.60 colon 81 and hit enter, it goes into the main GUI for the NGINX proxy manager. At this point, the rest of the setup is identical to what I described in NGINX proxy manager in Incas, which is to set up your port forwards from your router 
and to define your subdomains over at your DNS provider and enter appropriate proxy definitions in Nginx Proxy Manager. But this video was not specifically about how to configure uh, Nginx Proxy Manager, which you can get from that video. Let's assume that our version of NPM has been running now for a couple of months and a new release of NPM comes out. How can I upgrade it? Well, all we have to do is do an Incas stop on NPM and we simply do an Incas rebuild on docker colon jc21 forward slash nginx dash proxy dash manager colon latest to upgrade it to the latest available tag. And of course the name of the container NPM. And if it has a new version, it will go ahead and pull that and upgrade it. And then we simply turn around and do an Inca start on NPM. All of our data is safe because the data is actually stored in the two persistent volumes that we created earlier. What about backing up our NPM data from the custom volumes? And we can do that with an Inca storage volume export from the default pool, the name of the volume NPM dash data, and then we could provide a fully qualified pathway or just give a file name npm data.tar.gz and it creates a backup of that particular volume. Likewise, we can do a backup of the Let's Encrypt certificates from its volume with the command Inca Storage Volume Export Default npm Let's Encrypt. And again, providing either a fully qualified pathway and a file name or just the file name that I have created here. And if I do an LS, you can see that we have uh, both the NPM data backup and the NPM Let's Encrypt backup. If you watch my tutorial entitled Incas Container Snapshots, you learned about how you can do snapshots of your data. A snapshot is a point in time backup that rather than being stored externally to the container is stored internally as a part of the container. And so we can do an Inca storage volume snapshot create out of the default pool, the volume NPM dash data. And in this case, I'm calling the snapshot snapshot one. And likewise, I can create a snapshot for the Let's Encrypt data with a similar command. And you notice in both cases, I named the snapshot snapshot one, which is not a problem because the snapshot one for the NPM data volume is stored inside the NPM data volume. And the snapshot one for the NPM Let's Encrypt is stored inside of its volume. I think that overall the best use case for Docker OCI containers are containers that have a single Docker application running inside of them and this NPM was a great example. And it really does provide a great deal of simplicity over creating a nested Docker application inside of Incas or having a Docker server with multiple Docker applications. So in summary, we implemented NPM in an Incas OCI container for simplicity. And we created two persistent volumes in the default storage pool to store the NPM configuration and the Let's Encrypt certificates. We use the new Inca 6.5 auto restart switch on the NPM container to have the container restart in the event of an error. And Docker OCI containers provide a simple yet powerful way to host Docker applications in Incas. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like the channel and don't forget to hit your notification bell and we'll see you next time.